Hello and welcome to Thomas' Tower page with myself, Thomas Yarnack. Today I have a guest, Ellen Cook. Hello. Welcome. And as you, um, if you have watched this before, you can see I'm not at home. I'm actually at Ellen's house and you see all these beautiful artwork here. Ellen made this. Isn't she amazing? Look at this. And you can have a closer look at these eventually because we are collaborating on a card deck. Um, sort of a deeper spirit animal guide meaning card deck. Uh, where I will provide the messages of the animals and then um, that artwork will be used and we will actually start a Kickstarter very soon um, and the Kickstarter will be announced on this very channel so please, please, please uh, subscribe really important because it also helps me grow the channel if that makes sense and what we're doing here today we're looking at the sign of Pisces and this is your general reading for the month of June 2022 and what we do we will actually divide the reading into, uh, loosely at least, into three areas, three sections. Um, namely, we will look at the overall energy for the month of June, before we then go into your emotional core and see what can go, see what comes in. Um, and then lastly, we will look at opportunities, and opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially. Pisceans, this is your June 2022 general reading, and these are... Oh, this is the over energy for the month of June 2022. It will be an amazing. I'm waiting for a card to jump out, and it's, uh, it's being stubborn now. It's, there we go. There we go. We've had we've had all manner of things happen. We've had like multiple cards. We've had cards on the floor. Yeah. And now they're going. No, we're not coming out. So what we do is because I'm Pisces, and they're going to do your own uh, reading. Do your own reading, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Any minute now. Yeah. Like the exactly. If you're bored, if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. It's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. I do love that pushiness that I have. <laughs> it was like, no shame. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> it's just it's, a coffee. <laughs> it's a service you're providing. Here, Absolutely, so. yes, it is. It is indeed. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Finally, <laughs> finally, with some vigor. Yeah. We have a card <laughs> come out. Uh, ooh, Standing Stones, Passage is the uh, the card that's come out here. Uh, okay, so this is for the overall energy for the month for you, Pisces. Um, standing Stones, are obviously, it's symbolic of uh, a portal, potentially, transforming energies. So what this is suggesting is that actually there's going to be a bit of a change. That you're going to go through a, a, almost like a rite of passage, not like a passage, not like a corridor, but, but like a, a, a bit of a change in yourself. Um, and in your surroundings. So something's going to happen overall in this month that will actually potentially change how you look at things, um, give you a different perspective. So that passage for you will will change the way you are actually perceiving what's going on in the month. So Yeah, thank you so much. And also, it is really interesting because the, the, the energies that I got for the emotions are sacred journey and playful. So the sacred journey is probably what you're describing. Mm. And because Pisces as a sign is a very emotional sign, being a water sign and all, and also we are governed by Neptune, and Neptune's only job is to bring spiritual awareness to the table. So we are by default quite a spiritual sign, if I may say so myself. A lot of people take, sort of take offense, <laughs> what do you mean? Right? I'm not saying we're the most spiritual sign, but we are. <laughs> no, the point is, um, it is interesting. Yeah, 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 no, no. <laughs> So anyway, very, very, yeah, sacred journey. So I, I do believe that this actually is, obviously it's all connected, but when the sacred journey comes up with regards to our, because I'm Pisces too, um, emotions, then sacredness as such means that this journey really ought to happen, needs to happen. So it is important uh, because the next turn, the next card that you have is playfulness, is that when you are, when, when, when this new energy hits you and maybe that new awareness is coming in, um, be playful, have a playful energy, don't be scared, if that makes sense, uh, don't overreact, if that makes sense, uh, because uh, Pisces is the sign of the dreamer and if it is difficult to handle, um, you could hide in your own dream world and, and you are asked not to do that, um, you're just asked to have a playful demeanor when it when when you come to that point where you feel like okay something is really happening here right 
uh, and don't panic. That makes sense. So I actually see this as um, personally being a Piscean. I actually see this as as a positive, and also it feels like it's overdue. Does that make sense? So energetically, I think um, from a Piscean standpoint, um, things have been stale for quite some time, and I think because our our symbol is two fishes, right? Two fishes that swim away from one another and then ultimately return. So we can lose interest quite quickly, if that makes sense. And, you know, um, so maybe finding yourself and then being a different entity almost, um, I think that's going to be bloody awesome, right? So, yeah, that was the uh, emotional core. And then finally, we're looking at the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June 2022. And the opportunities, these came out straight away, considering how stubborn the first card was at coming out. Uh, we've got the Owl Spirit, which signifies wisdom, and we've got Reflecting Pool, which signifies stillness. Now, bear in mind we're talking about sort of financial matters, material matters here. So there's an element of, of actually being quite wise about how you're spending your, your finances, and maybe not rushing out to buy all the gadgets that you can think of, all at one go. <laughs> but being a, we just off camera we just talked about you know all the gadgets that she has. This is like a Star Trek place here. And I'm a big Star Trek fan, so I thought like, oh I'm gonna have all this. So I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> so there's this element of be a bit still, be a little bit cautious, watch and wait, because the the reflecting pool obviously reflects back what you put into it as well. Mm. So when you wait for it to go still, you can actually see clearly what you want to do with your money. So use that wisdom, use that waiting for things, waiting for that still point um, when everything becomes clear and then you know how this the finances will pan out for you this month. Yeah, thank you so much, that was awesome. Anyway, um, like I said, please like, subscribe and share. It really helps uh, growing the channel. channel. Um, and the more you share, the more we can reach other people, really, really important. And there will be a link in the description box about LM's artwork because she has a little uh, um why did I say little it's just a uh, it's not enormous it's not yeah it's just a it's just a link at this one time to to a Facebook shop. I always call it a little shop. What do I know? Could little be shop a forest, yes. yeah. So don't mind me when I when I describe it as little. I don't mean this in a bad way. It's just um, my brain is uh, weird. Um yeah anyway I think that's all I had to say. <laughs> Thank you so much and I see you all next month. Bye bye.